James Fairweather was the quiet boy who became a cold-blooded multiple murderer. A serial killer obsessive who was just 15 when he repeatedly stabbed two strangers in completely random attacks. Seen here, moments after his arrest, he had on latex gardening gloves, a key part of the uniform he always wore when he was going to kill. The teenager admitted manslaughter on the grounds of diminished responsibility, claiming he'd been possessed by the devil and heard voices which compelled him to kill. Some of the voices were talking to me, you need to make a sacrifice or we're going to come and get you, you need to do it. His matter-of-fact description fails to convey the horror of the brutality. 33-year-old father of four, Jim Atfield, was stabbed 102 times by Fairweather in a Colchester park. Three months later, 31-year-old student Nahid Almanea was murdered as she walked along this nature trail in the town. But police believe this woman was seconds away from being Fairweather's third victim. Michelle Sadler told Five News she came within metres of the teenager when she saw him lurking in bushes close to where he'd already killed. She alerted police who finally intercepted him. Obviously I got close enough so when he looked at me I looked back at him I felt really really sort of scared, panicked, I turned around, went back on where I was um, and that's when I obviously decided I needed to call the police but I wasn't 100% certain because I thought you know if he hasn't done anything do I or don't I? And you could have been just seconds away from yeah, him? Yeah if I'd have gone in five minutes later which is what I already knew where he was in that bush I, I know that he'd have got me from behind and I know that and um, yeah that's the most horrific part you know obviously reading that in the statements what's been come out in court you know I'm just very very lucky to be here yeah detaining him for a minimum of 27 years the judge told Fairweather his killings were brutal and sadistic he added you are well aware of the publicity this first murder attracted I have no doubt you relished the sense of power and control that it gave you he is one of Britain's youngest ever double murderers. The teenager who idolised the Yorkshire Ripper is now, like him, in a secure psychiatric hospital. Julian Drucker, 5 News, Colchester.